So how do you make large change happen in a short period of time? The way to do that is to change the heart. But I have a little prop, this little prop. I'm 58. I know I don't look it. It's the Nikan products. <laughs> I asked the makeup lady back there, are you using Nikan makeup? She says, oh no, they only have uh, uh, cosmetic or whatever. I thought makeup was cosmetic. No, 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 that's something different. So she's being obedient. So imagine that when I was born 58 years ago, I came out of my mother's womb wearing tiny dark green glasses. Okay? Not trying to make it more painful on the women. I just lost half the audience, right? Oops. So I come out of my mother's womb wearing these. Now here is a key thing. In 58 years, I've never had them off, ever. I sleep with them. I go to church with them. I golf with them. I prospect them. With them. I have never had, so I think they're as much as me as my arm. Now, if I had these on for 58 years and I looked at, oh, now with my real glass on, I can't tell. There's a lady there about four in. What is your name, if I can call on you? Yes, the one that just looked away from me. Isn't that great? You have a nice guy dressed. Yes, the one that went like this. That's the one I'm talking about. What is your name? I got to call on somebody. Deborah. So you may not be able to see Deborah, but imagine I'm looking at Deborah and I had these green glasses on that I've had on my whole life. What color would I say Deborah's outfit is? I'd say it's green. And then let's say somebody like Bob Richards comes along and he wants to help me out. He's a wise guy. He's not like a smart aleck, I mean, wisdom, right? And he's nice, he's kind, he's caring, he wants to help me out. And he says, hey, hey, Brian, Deborah's outfit's really white. What would I tell Bob? You're wrong. You, you don't know what you're talking about. You better go get your eyes checked. I think you're getting old or something. Now, Bob marshals all his enthusiasm because he really wants to help me out. He tries to motivate me in the seat. He goes, Brian, it's white. Would that change what I'm saying? No. How about a Bob? He's very persistent. If you know him, he's very persistent. All his running history and all that. He calls me up every day without fail. Every day. He says, Brian, this is Bob. Oh, hi, Bob. How you doing? Great. Hey, do you remember Deborah in the convention? Oh, yeah, I remember Deborah. Do you remember her outfit? Oh, yeah, I remember her, her outfit. Well, it's white, 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 white. And then he hangs up on me. Boom. <laughs> yeah, some of you might have had that experience. <laughs> Would that change what I'm saying? No, it's hopeless. It's hopeless. As long as I got these on, I can even want to see it as white. I can't. But if I discover there's something called sunglasses, I start looking for them, I bump into them, and I lift them off. In a second, I have a revelation. I have a revelation. Something's revealed to me that I couldn't see just a second before, in this case, white. You get nothing else out of this afternoon's talk. If you want to make dramatic change, large change, short period of time, the way to do it is to have a revelation, to break through a belief system that you have in your heart. As a man or woman thinketh in their heart, so are they. Not what you have in your head. Most times it doesn't matter what we have in their head. Hey, everybody has in their head how to lose weight. Everybody knows that. Eat less, work out more. Not rocket science. But most times they have something in their heart preventing them from doing the right behavior from taking the action they need to take. Most distributors know how to pick up the phone or prospect, but there's something in the heart that prevents them from taking that behavior. I'm going to suggest to you, no matter how old, young, no matter how much experience you've had, you, I, and every human being on the planet has a thousand sets of sunglasses, beliefs, that we're blind to. We don't even know we have them on. We could do a whole, in essence, the uh, diamonds that were with me for the last two days, all they did was explore what belief systems they have, sunglasses that they're wearing, they don't even know they have on, preventing them from doing whatever they want to do. We could do a whole day and nothing but your belief systems around money. You have belief systems around commitment that determined whether you set goals at the beginning of this year, whether they were specific or vague, whether you wrote them down or not, whether they're big or small, and whether you followed through on them or not. All that's being decided by things in your heart. So if you want to make large change short period of time, whether it's doubling the intimacy in a marriage, whether it's doubling your passion for the Nikan business, whether it's doubling your prosperity financially, you have to deal with the heart. All I'm going to do in a few minutes with you, I've got about a half hour left, is talk about a viewpoint, a belief system around problems.